We are looking at the assembly of Langstroth frames. Gluing and nailing is very important. If not done, frames come apart during manipulation with disastrous results. Holes in the side bars are fitted with eyelets to stop the wire cutting into the wood when tension is applied to the wire. Two small nails hold the wire taut and are nailed into the side bars. Wire is stretched across the side bars to hold the wax foundation nice and straight. Wire is threaded through the eyelets and the loose end is fitted to one nail and the nail driven in. Tension is applied to the wire by rotating the spool. Tension is held and the wire wound two or three times around the nail and the nail driven in. There we have a well assembled and wired frame. The importance of this cannot be overemphasized as without this you cannot use these frames in an extractor without the combs breaking. Here we have a brood sheet of wax foundation. Whole sheets can be used or if you are short of wax strips can be used for supers or broods. Foundation is held in place by gentle application of heat to the wire by using a motor car battery or in this case I'm using a battery charger. You carefully short circuit the charger by touching the frame wires at the end until the wax melts around the wire. Be careful not to cut the wax in half. The foundation is fixed to the groove in the top bar by pouring molten wax into the groove on both sides of the frame. This holds the wax firmly in place and also fills the cracks which are said to be a favorite place for wax moth to lay their eggs. Top bar frames can be done in the same way or you can do the following. With these frames in order to get the bees to build nice and straight you give them a start by inserting a little piece of wax or piece of paper covered with wax in the slot in the frame and once the bees start building straight they will continue to build straight from there on in. With this top bar on its own you would make, as you can see on this, there's a thin piece of wax being put down the center of the frame and the bees would start their comb from there and once they start there they will continue to go straight onto the next one and the next one and the next one. Once they start crooked they will continue to go crooked so it's very important to start them off straight. Moving on to equipment we use when handling bees the most important item of equipment is a good quality smoker. Smoke is used to control the bees. I have three of them here of different sizes. All three are American made. The South African ones are equally good and work very well. Different sizes of smokers are used depending on what job you are doing. Long jobs or short jobs. While we are talking about smokers, we'll talk about the fuel for smokers. I have found one of the best fuels is ordinary cow dung, which is cow manure in lumps. The newspaper underneath is used to light the cow dung. For small jobs, like changing a feeding bottle or maybe just having a peep into a super, I have found ordinary egg boxes excellent source of smoke. It lights easily and it lasts a long, long time. 
A hive tool is the beekeeper's friend. There are three different ones on the floor there. It is very important to have a decent hive tool. The bees glue all the parts of the hive together with propolis and in order to get them apart the hive tool is slid between the parts, loosened and you can then manipulate the hive. Also when working with bees there are times when you need a bee brush. The bee brush is used mainly to brush bees off combs when harvesting honey and sometimes during other manipulations. When working at night, obviously a good torch is essential. The blue miner's lamp on the floor there fits nicely onto my helmet, so my hands are free to work with the bees. The battery straps around my waist. A bee sting is quite a painful experience, and we want to avoid bee stings at all costs. What do we do? We wear protective clothing. The first and most important piece of protective clothing the beekeeper will use is a veil. I have two veils here. This is a British type of veil. Very light, very wearable, easy to put on, but it is not 100% bee proof. This next veil here is designed around the roots and Kelly's veil in America excellent veil made in South Africa which I wear with the miner's helmet. Excellent veil, 100% bee proof but a little bit hot to wear. The next piece of equipment is an overall and the color should be light, a light cream or light green or blue or white. The white shows the dirt a little bit unfortunately. It must be a zip fronted overall and it must have elasticized cuffs and ankles. We wear gloves occasionally depending on what sort of job you are doing. I have two types of gloves here. A very thick and heavy plastic glove with a gauntlet on it. The bees do not sting through that. These gloves you'll all recognize, the normal household rubber gloves would be used when doing the washing up. I find them excellent for certain jobs and uh, they are not a problem to put on and off and you can keep them in your pocket when working with bees in case you need them. Personally I use gloves on very rare occasions but I keep them handy in case the bees get aggressive. Gum boots are sometimes necessary not always, but there are times when you need to have your feet and ankles protected. This would normally be when you're working at night, when the bees don't fly and they in fact crawl around. And it is very advisable to have either gum boots or the military type combat boot to protect your ankles. If you keep bees, the odd sting is unavoidable. The sting is painful and of course we should avoid being stung. We learn how to handle our bees correctly. That is by gentle use of smoke whenever we work with our bees. No bumping of the hive or squashing and killing bees. We work slowly and gently with no jerky movements. We change the queen of any colony which is aggressive and difficult to work with. We wear a hat whenever we walk around our apiary and we never stand in front of the hive when the bees are working. We avoid strong smelling deodorants and aftershaves or perfumes which sometimes irritate bees, as does garlic, onions and alcohol on the breath. Treat bees with respect. Get to know them. They cannot get to know you. They don't live long enough. Use smoke and handle your bees gently.